Hi guys, this is Spud and today we are going to be taking a look at the next level of Minecraft Dungeons. But first of all, I want to tell you why I switched out the fishing rod for the Death Cat Mushroom. And this is because um, the Death Cat Mushroom has a higher power rating than the fishing rod and I prefer to play with the Death Cat Mushroom as I will show you what this does on the training dummy. So if I use the so if I use the death cap mushroom it will make me attack a lot quicker. As you can see there I have the effect mushroomized. And it says here it has greatly increases attack and movement speed. So this is how I normally attack. And then I would attack a lot faster with the death cap mushroom. And uh, so without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to be doing Soggy Swamp today and I will go for the difficulty level number two as it is recommending it. So let's get started and let's go. live at the heart of the sinister swamp. They conjure up all manner of brews to empower the arch illager and his ever-growing army. If you don't find and defeat those witches, the illagers will be unstoppable. But tread carefully. The swamp is home to many horrors. Okay then. So, there is a secret that you can find if there is two secrets. And there is not, so we cannot unlock the secret, which is, which is um, a secret mission, Soggy Swamp. So I might just go, go ahead and take out these guys. Make our way over here. I'll use the Death Cat Mushroom so I can attack really quickly. I got a new weapon there. We'll check that out in just one moment. So it's a glaive. I really do quite like the glaive. As you can attack in quite a far area and this has a better power rating than my sword. So I might salvage my sword as the glaive is better. And you see there my power went up to five. So I will maybe enchant sharpness on this so it will deal a bit more damage let's go and make sure that we have checked out all of the area and there we go looks like we have we can't go any further so let's head on to the next part of the mission go ahead and kill all these guys and as you saw that I could kill both of them baby zombies just because I could attack in quite a far reach. Right, you hear that? Some witches somewhere nearby. Doesn't seem that they're over here though. There they are, there's the witch and we don't want to get caught in them poison clouds as it will poison us. You see? Take damage. And also, witches drink health potions, so you better take care of them quickly. Quite quickly. I'll go ahead and take care of all of these guys. Right, I got a uh, evocation robe. Neither of them are as good as my wolf armor. So I may just salvage them. And this Spelunker armor I may keep as it has two enchantment slots. So let's call in my dog. And let's head over to this other part of the mission. Take care of all them zombies and these witches. Go 
We might head round this way, so we don't miss anything. Let's kill that baby zombie we were just there. And that one. Check out this part of the area. Does not seem to be anything there. So I'm just going to head over here. Take care of all these guys quickly and the creeper. Some slimes there and they do exactly what they do in Minecraft and they split up when they die. There we go, I've just leveled up. I will go and destroy this cauldron here. That will give me some emeralds, which is nice. Break that one. Get two TNTs now. Might need to drink a health potion there. I'm going to throw the TNT up there. As I'm hoping that that will do a lot of damage, as it sure seemed to do. There's a lot of enemies over there. Oh, I've gotten quite a tough position there. It's quite tough. Let's just go and kill them vindicators. Show you that potion and see if we can enchant anything. So, we can't actually enchant anything because we need two enchantment points. And it looks like we need to go over there, but we need to destroy all of the potion and cauldrons first. Destroy that and go and whack all of them guys. Let's go and take care of him and this slime and all the other slimes that, it, that they will spawn in. Take care of all three of them guys instantly, which is nice. So now my new objective is to find the cauldron. Well, there seems to be nothing else over here. So I might just go and head over to where we are supposed to be. And you can see that that gate has now opened. And head over here. Let's hope we might be able to throw the TNT there. Hope that that does some damage. Didn't do too much. It looks like there is only this cave here. So let's go in here, this dungeon. And oh, there's an Enderman, which is a mini boss. And they do basically what Endermen do. They do deal high damage. And they teleport all over the place. And you can see the mini boss bar up there in the top. But we are seem to be dealing with him quite good. There we go. Shoot the witch and treasure pig! Right then, let's just head over here and check out the new gear. So we have an even better glaive here. So I might salvage this one and this one and equip that one and that turns my power up to six and I might get thundering on it and you shall soon see what that does. Head over here. Right, tackle them. Right, that's what thundering does. It summons lightning down, basically. Check everything. Okay then. There's nothing there, so I might as well head over around this area. I'm supposed to go that way, so I think. We should go around the other way when we get a chance. Head up here, just because we do not want to miss anything. See, there's a nice fancy chest there with a good bow and some arrows. Let's check the bow. Okay, the bow is better than the one I have. So I switch them out, my power goes up by seven. So I think I will salvage that one. And I might get... Mm, let's get a bonus shot. So I can also have a second shot. Of, um, randomly. 
and I might get power too. So you can see what that does. Power does what it sounds like. It gives your arrows more power, as expected. Just go and take care of him. Head over here. Nothing over there. That's okay. Right, we've got to go that way. So let's go over this way. And I see a little chest. Just got some emeralds in. That's always nice. Nothing wrong with a bit of emeralds. A bit of emeralds. Oh, let's go and take them out. Take them out. Attack the zombie. I might take that pork too. Attack the zombie. Head round here, make sure that we have missed nothing. Well, all we seem to have missed was an evoke, a, a, a vindicator, and a zombie. Right then. Take care of that skelly bone. This slime. Take care of that skeleton. That vindicator. Might go up here so I don't miss anything. Head round here and I might just roll off. And attack all of these guys. See if I can throw my TNT up there. No, I cannot. I think that I might have blown up that zombie. But I am not sure. So I think I will probably head up here. Because I do not want to miss any chests whatsoever. Well, up there, attack this Vindicator. Nothing round here, and nothing round there. Nothing over there. Nothing round here. Right then, let's head up here. Round here, I think. No. Oh, I'm getting lost. Right then. Let's go around here, there's a witch there. See there, the bone shot, we've got two shots. Nothing around there at all. Let's hope we have some more luck around with this side. There's some zombies. And I see a chest over there. Go and take care of that Vindicator. Open the chest, we've got a potion, TNT, and some more arrows, which is always nice. Kill that slime there, and all the other slimes it spawns in. Nothing around there. Take care of that Vindicator. And it seems like there's nothing else, there's only around there where we can go. So I'm going to go just there. Okay, we're back here now, so I should just be able to head around here. Let's just follow the marker, I guess. Take care of the slime, these zombies, let's call our dog back in. Take care of that zombie and this skelly bone. Just check that there is absolutely nothing around here. No, there is not. Right, so where should we head? We'll probably head this way, as we need to head the other way. And, surprise, we have to go up here. Okay. 
here's some vindicators. Let's attack him. Drink a potion, because why not? We'll go up these steps here. Check there's nothing else. There's a slime and all the other little slimes. Vindicator there, do not throw the TNT. Oh, I did not mean to throw the TNT there. Whoops, that was a waste of TNT. <coughs> Let's head round here. Get the skeleton. Get that skeleton. Okay then. Let's head round this way first of all. Let's head across here. Attack all these zombies and everything. Get them emeralds, which is nice. And get them emeralds. Let's check around that little area over there, and then we'll be good to go. There we go. Let's take care of that slime. That slime, them slimes, them slimes, and them slimes. That slime. Well, let's just take care of all the slimes. And the zombie. And a nice fancy treasure chest. It's got a scatter crossbow. It has multi shot on it. And I don't particularly want the scatter crossbow. As I don't really like playing in that sort of style but I will show you what multi shot can do so it normally fires three but multi shot gives you a chance to fire it gives you a chance to fire five arrows at once and I will salvage that because I don't really like using the crossbows let's head back up here round here Let's just go up around this way. Check on the map. Yep, we've just got that area to go. So, let's just go and head that way. How many chests have we got so far? We have four of nine. So there should be five more, I think. Head around here. Over the wall. Nope, we have to go up from the wall. So we have to head all the way back round to here. Okay, here we are. There's a witch there trying to ambush us. Another witch, a skeleton and a zombie, which we can easily take care of. That seems to be the exit. So I might just check around this way, make sure that there are no chests. And there is a, a chest here, which well, is just full of emeralds. Let's check around over this way. Slime. Lot of emeralds, I will take them. Shoot them. Check around this way. There is nothing. Right, and then there's just a tiny bit over there, and then we'll be out of this place. Oh, a fancy chest. I have a robe and some arrows. Now, the robe is not particularly good, and I don't really like playing with the robes, so I may just salvage that for some emeralds. Let's head around this way and let's go out and see what else we have. Let's attack the zombies. Make sure there's nothing there which there isn't. Take care of all of these zombies. I leveled up. Just take care of all these zombies and maybe we can enchant something else. So if we go here, right, yeah. So what should we enchant? 
I think maybe we should enchant our wolf farm with snowball. And that stuns enemies. So now it triggers every three seconds. As you saw there. So when the enemies get stunned, then that is going to be the snowball. Right then. Head over this way. There is nothing. So I will just go ahead and continue the level. Nothing around there. Take care of all them zombies. These slimes. Take care of him. There is a chest around here that I can see from my map. Well, I have to go around this way anyway. Go there and check that there is nothing there. I can't even go up there. Attack him. Go around this way as quick as possible. Open up the chest which just contains a whole bunch of emeralds. I will not say no to all of them. Attack all of these guys and these guys and him. Go around here, attack the zombie. Run around here. Go around here. And it seems there's a campsite with some supplies. Have a bit of bread and some arrows. So it's nice, I won't say no. We need to head up here. We'll need to take care of all these enemies first. Come down here, attack everyone. A lot of em enemies there. I have to go that way, so I might just head round here. Take care of that zombie there. Take care of these zombies in the Vindicator. I got a hunting bow, which is nice. Attack them. Let's attack him too. And there's a chest in there, so I don't really want to miss that. There you go. It is just full of emeralds. Take a look at this hunting bow. And even though it has a higher power rating, it only has one enchantment slot. So I might just have to salvage that hunting bow. Around here, there is nothing. Call my dog over here. Run around here. Okay, so it seems like we have to go up. Let's just head up then, right up here. That is all nice and lovely. Take all of them guys. And him, and him. Take them, and them. Head round this way. Does not seem like we can go that way. But we will go and head over up there as there is nowhere else to go. Attack him, attack him, attack him. And let's just head round over here. Which is all nice. Attack these skeletons. And they are not nice. Attack the witches. Mushroom eyes, attack everything. Right, let's attack. No, I mean, let's go around here. Attack all of them. Drink a health potion. So we need to watch our health. There's a chest around there. And some TNT and arrows, which is always nice. Head up here. Around here. We found the cauldron. Has he actually, did you? And the cauldron is a boss. So you better be careful. And you can see there his big health bar. Ooh, we're getting quite low on health. Don't want to die. Drink a potion real quick. Attack all of them enemies. Attack 
them enemies. Attack them. Attack him and him. And then I just go and attack the cauldron. Get a firework arrow. A nice big hit on him. I'll go and attack all of them. So there is not as many slimes to get damage taken off me. You've nearly killed the cauldron now. Get out of the fire. Drink a potion. And there we go. We have a master's bow. Let's check that out then. It is a really good bow with unenchanting, accelerate and infinity. I might salvage this bow, as this bow is a lot better and it gives me a power rating of 8. And I think I'll get infinity on it. Okay then, let's head round here. Up here, round here and let's exit. So there we go. And it will be a long time before the witches recover from this blow. Well so done. there we go. That does look about all the time that we have for this episode today. Let's just go and open this mystery chest. Open that up right there. And we have now a harvester. A harvester. It does a big explosion in an area but it requires souls so I might leave that for next episode but remember last episode I said you could trade with these guys um, most of the time you will just get junk off them but sometimes you'll get good things and there's no worries about spending all your emeralds as there is nothing else to spend them on so uh, yeah, like, that is not as good, neither is that, or neither is this. So, uh, yep. Right, I'll see. Right, so, that is now the end of the episode. So, I'll see you all next time. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Bye! Thanks for watching. Please could you like and subscribe, and until next time, Keep on spotting!